If you got a new Nexus 7 last week and you're looking for fun and exciting stuff to install on it, look no further. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are the top 5 games to install on your Nexus 7. Mobile gaming isn't what it used to be, and honestly that's a good thing. While platformers are still fun from time to time, we're no longer limited to moving characters in two dimensions with only one or two actions. Mobile games have broken into the third dimension, and as a result, gaming from smartphones, tablets, and the like is better than ever. And one of the best devices to do your gaming on is with one of the most well-rounded and affordable tablets on the market, the new Nexus 7. Unfortunately, not every game is compatible with the 2013 Nexus 7, and that means you may have to do some digging to find some awesome games to play. Well, we've done some of that digging and testing for you and we've composed a list of five of the best games you can play on your new Nexus 7. One of the most impressive mobile game franchises to date is Modern Combat. Basically, it's exactly what a mobile-optimized version of Call of Duty would feel and look like, though I'm sure Gameloft would deny any sort of relation to or inspiration from Infinity Ward's creation. It's your standard first-person military shooter with an in-depth campaign, fairly smooth polished graphics, tolerable controls, and even an online multiplayer mode. At $699, it's one of the more expensive games you can get for your Nexus 7, but if you're into first-person shooters, it doesn't get better than this on mobile. The only thing that would make it better is the ability to play the game with a controller, which is possible. A game that doesn't necessarily need a controller to be fun and entertaining, however, is Riptide. The first version of the game was incredible, especially for it being a mobile game, but the second version, GP2, is even better. In essence, you race rocket-powered hydro jets around water courses against other racers. There's both a career mode and online gameplay, and the graphics are fantastic. The various tracks are beautiful, and throughout gameplay, virtual water splashes are thrown onto the display as to remind you how impressive the game truly is. Best of all, this game is only $2.99 and well worth it if you're into hydro racing. Zombie games are all the rage and have been for the last couple of years. Evidence of just that is that two of our top five games are first-person zombie games, the first of which is Into the Dead. Unlike most zombie hack-and-slash games, in Into the Dead you're not holding up and killing every zombie that comes your way. Instead, you're running for your life, ducking in and out and dodging zombies. You can pick up weapons from scattered crates and shoot some as you dodge others. The controls are super simple, it's fun to play, and it has tons of replay value. It's free to play with tons of in-game purchases. Dead Trigger is also free to play and it's more along the lines of your standard zombie survival game. You're in the midst of a zombie apocalypse and you have to navigate your way around a city overrun by the undead. Basically shoot everything in sight and stay alive. There are oodles of guns and other unlockables. We're not necessarily a fan of the freemium gameplay but this one in particular is awesome. And if you're looking for a third person shooter with similar mechanics, be sure to check out Madfinger's other popular title, Shadowgun. Finally, Real Racing 3. I'm not gonna lie, Need for Speed Most Wanted would have been included in this list over Real Racing had it been compatible with the Nexus 7. Unfortunately, it's not. And Asphalt 8 would probably make the list if it were available, but it's not out yet. So Real Racing 3 is the next best thing. The graphics are amazing for a mobile game, and the gameplay is buttery smooth. The mechanics are great. The downside? To maintain and upgrade your car, you'll have to simply wait it out or spend your hard-earned cash to speed up the in-game time. No less, it's still a great game for your new Nexus 7. That's going to wrap this video up. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe, and follow us in all the usual channels, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next time.